Hey everyone, welcome back. Actually, I received many comments and messages on our videos asking uh, to make a video from a budget scanner that covers uh, majority of the system on the car. Uh, that's why today I'm making this video to introduce this scanner, which is Top Scan uh, from the Top Down company. You guys might have seen uh, some other videos that I uploaded on the channel with Top Down scanner. So that one is actually more expensive scanner with a device uh, covering everything. So when I got this device, I was expecting something like just OBD to function, covering engine and transmission and some limited live data. But honestly, when I plugged it on the car and started using it, I see that this one is covering majority of the system, which is surprising. So today I'm going to show you how this system works because this one is normally app based OBD2 scanner. So you can just install the app on your phone and you can keep this one in the car anytime something goes wrong you can just plug it in and read the code and uh, of course there are many other functions like the special functions like the actuation tips that are going to help you to do the diagnostic but before starting the video if you guys haven't subscribed the channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button to get the notification when we upload new videos so i'm going to put this one up on the car and i have to record my uh, phone screen because I'm using my phone right now to record this video. So whatever you see from now on, I'm going to talk over it and you will see a recording of my screen as well. In the software, as you see, I have diagnostic at the top and I have some maintenance option over here. If I click on the more, you see the maintenance function for oil, uh, for oil reset, throttle body learning, uh, EPB release, a steering angle sensor, calibration abs for bleeding for dpf regeneration battery management system and airbag so generally when you buy a scanner with obd to function you won't have these options included and if i go from here on diagnostic uh, i downloaded the toyota software so you can download all of them based on the type of car that you get in your workshop or based on the car that you have already so right here if you go for auto selection you need to insert the win number or you press on read and system is reading the win number for this car i'm gonna go for confirm and other uh, you select the model without a smart key again other and you have the vehicle profile over here confirm and if you go for auto scan here you have the hot functions as well but if you go for auto scan you have all the systems here like engine transmission apb abs and epb srs as you see system is monitoring all of them uh, so generally again for obd to function just something before going ahead i'm not getting paid by these guys i'm just reviewing this scan tool so for example if you go for the engine next so you have reading the code erasing the code data stream active test and a special function and if i read the codes if the code is here, of course, you're going to read it. There is no code right now. You can erase the code on clear DTCs and data stream. All right. It's actually monitoring the data stream over here as well. But active test is something which is not included in many OBD2 scanner. If I click on active test, you have all the options. Activate the EVA perch control valve uh, for the VVT solenoids. Control the injection volume. Control the fuel pump ratio. Uh, as you see, all the actuation tests are included in here. I'm going to test a couple of them later on. And a special function. As you see, we have switch oil maintenance display, learning value reset, engine oil jet control valve, and manual throttle matching. So all these options are included here as well. For the EPB, if we select EPB, which is uh, ABS as, and EPB, of course, it's covering the entire braking system. Uh, again, you have active test and a special function. So if you go, for example, for the special function over here, as you see, you have test mode, inspection mode, and signal check. But if I go for active test, uh, so you have activating the motor relay for ABS motor, ABS warning lights, 
uh, brake warning lights and if I scroll down you have all this ABS solenoid activations here for EPB warning lights and for releasing the parking brake rear parking brake when you are going to change the rear brake pads you can go for example go for PKB release all data here and you have the actuation here as well you have actually the live dot over here and if you press on over here you are actually releasing the electronic parking brake and if i press on so i can hear the electronic parking brake activation right now because it's actually release the parking brake so basically you need to do this uh, whenever you want to change the rear brake pads when you, because your car has because this car has electronic parking brake and after releasing of course you're going to go for the lock control and you see the live dot over here and if you press on i hear the electronic parking brake operation sound again because it's actually uh activating the parking brake again and if i go for some other option i'm not going to review all of them because it's going to take a long time i'm showing you some hot features like for example if you go for the driver door motor uh, next you have again reading the code erasing the code data stream and if i go for the active test power window i'm monitoring the power window and if i press up and down i can uh, open or close the uh, power window so right now if i press down so you hear the power window actually operates it opened the power window all the way and if i press up the power window code the power window keeps going up so it actually activates all the body components as well and right now if i press the as you see here you see the live data light for uh driver door power window uh down switch the third one if i press that one you see it turns on and the up switch the second one turns on right now when i activate it so it shows that these components are working you can basically use this one for activating the uh, actuators for monitoring them so you have many other options like the master switch combination meter blind spot monitoring system as well and the next important thing is on the front page you have some repair information if you just click on the more you see dtc repair guides technical service bulletins dlc location and warning light library so if you start from the top you see for example here if you search for any code like p okay so it gives you some information regarding the code which is this one about the mass airflow sensor some diagnostic steps at the at the bottom uh, which is going to be helpful for diagnosing the code one of the best information here is actually technical service bulletins or what we call it as tsp because many companies generally provide tsps for dealerships in case that there are some common faults on some systems they provide the tsps to dealership to to provide all the details for diagnostic for example if i click on this one you can select the make so right here i'm gonna go just for one of them and uh, just something random so you see the tsps over here some tsps for this specific car you can search it of course for any different cars as well so like for the first one if i click on the tsp so you see exactly the tsp the company's tsp which uh which is provided to the dealership so as you see this tsp is for electronic power steering and it tells you all the detail for this specific tsp and if you scroll down you see the diagnostic procedure as well step by step diagnostic procedure and repair procedure exactly what you need to fix this car so this is quite uh this is quite helpful and if you go back DLC location, of course, is going to show you the location of uh, DLC. For example, again, if I go for just one car randomly, I'm, I'm just selecting one car. It shows you the location of 
uh, DLC or OBD2 connector, which is quite helpful. And the last one is warning light library because sometimes you have one warning light on instrument cluster and you don't know what that warning light is. This is going to help you to find out about that warning light. So if you scroll down, you see all different type of warning lights and you get some idea what they are. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.